Hey guys, just a quick beginner guide on Epic Heroes. Um, when you log into this game, it's pretty overwhelming. There's a lot going on, a lot of side quests, a lot of events. You got unions, you got all sorts of things, heroes. But the main thing you really want to focus on is getting through your X War battles. That's what is going to get you more rewards and unlock more events and features down the down the track. Um, yeah, the, the higher level you are, the more like auto yield rewards you get. Um, the other thing you want to focus on is the galaxy wanted. This place here, every time you log in every day, you can sweep here and get even more rewards. So the higher level you are here, you get more rewards there. Those are two main ones you want to focus on, but then there's everything else. You've got like in here, Hero Cup is, it basically tells you who's top on the server. Um, nothing really interesting there. You've got your Spirit Link Station. This is where you basically link up, or you basically level six heroes up to max level, and then you can pick any other hero and it gets up to the same level as the other heroes as well. Um, recycle station, this is where you recycle junk gear. Um, in here you can select which ones you want to recycle. So if you want to recycle, you know, all these items, then you can quickly select this, disassemble. Um, in here you can get reset heroes, basically. If you've leveled up a hero by mistake, like an A hero, you can go in and, like, reset them and get everything back, so, um, that's cool there, so don't stress too much which heroes you're leveling up early, uh, you've got the home world, this one you want to go in every day, collect your points, um, level up your home base as much as possible, in here you've got your star explore, um, you just want to send all your heroes out over here every day, um, you get extra, I'm not sure what the resource is, what they call them here, but some sort of resource that you can level up your different factions. So you got your superhero, tech, nature, and is it dark? Yeah. Um, so I main Toko, she's my main hero that I run, so I put most of my points into the superhero faction, basically. You get extra percentage health, percentage damage, extra attack and health there. So you kind of don't want to spend your you don't want to spend all your money here until you know which faction you want to be running. Um, just just because you can't reset it. Like I made a mistake of putting points into nature, but I don't run much nature. But yeah, anyway, just. I might make a separate video on that later, but just don't go rushing into Stark Deck straight away. you got your casino here, you've got your slots. Um, just go through all your slots every day, it's free free money. Uh, Lab of Awakening, I think once you get to VIP 5, you can click Smart Awaken and it just automatically levels everything up. Um, that saves you a lot of time, so I definitely recommend getting to VIP 5. Summoner Tower, this here is just what you want to be focusing on early. You just want to get as many scrolls as possible and getting as many champions, heroes as possible. And then you've got your faction summons really handy. Um, if you're focusing on nature, for example, you want to be getting all the nature ones. Um, those scrolls are a bit more expensive, but yeah. At the moment, like you can even get the, once you level up high, you can get the, what's it called? The god heroes. Um, but they get really expensive, so depends on your budget. Either focus on the main four, or if you've got big pockets, you can go for... The God Heroes, um, shopping mall, basically every day you really want to be getting your your gems, these two ones here. 
um, later down the track, you, you just need them to level up your heroes, so even you need these sometimes too. Um, yeah, you got your Star Store, that's from when you're doing your, what's it called, Star Trek. Um, I'll get to that later, but you can spend those points here, you got your points from basically when you're, what's it called, in the Summoner Tower and you get, what's it called, the B heroes, the trash heroes, they just automatically disassemble and you get, you can know what it's called, turn them into extra like real heroes. Later on, um, Legend Mall, this is for Arena, so once you're doing more Arena battles, you can get points here and spend them on, like, good champions, the higher rated you are, basically, you can get S heroes, S plus heroes, all the way up to your God heroes. Um, that's that there. Every week, you're gonna have different events, so, like, right now, I've got the Ruins event, which is kind of, it's okay. You can get, um, basically, you can get any of these heroes here for, basically, keys. You basically need 30 keys, and you can get a S, S plus hero there. It's handy if you need any of these particular heroes. Like, I've got most of them, but I wouldn't mind getting this guy here, but anyway. Um, probably do a separate video on those later. You got a Void Champion, this is where you just want to do these battles. You get free, free dollars, basically, on these ones. Um, Lost Land, you want to pass all these, because this is where you get your... They're called artifacts, but they're pretty much trinkets, but whatever you want to call them, artifacts. Um, they're pretty handy, like these things here. They give you extra attack HP crit depending on which ones you get um, definitely recommend getting through as much as this as possible and every few days you can do a sweep and you get a lot of a lot of gear from that so try focus on that as well uh, space discovery that's just random little games you can play um, they're yeah, pretty straightforward don't really need to explain that too much um, you've got your arenas in here, pretty straightforward. Um, battle everyone on your server, so this is your daily ones, daily tournaments on your server. Legend, that's, um, I believe, a group of a few servers that are close to your age. Um, so you just want to register for these ones every time it comes up. Um, then you've got your Dominated Championship, which, they're different events, happens all the time. Okay, looks like I just won this battle here. So, Dominated Championship. You can re-watch the replays in here as well. Um, we can see if we won this battle. Or well, we've won, but you can re-watch the battle if you want. Um, but yeah, pretty much you can skip through that, um, and it looks like, yeah, straight win. Um, uh, what else we got, um, Arena, Star Trek, so you just want to go through these ones, it's just extra rewards you get for free, you can see you got these Star Trek tokens that you can use later on, just run through that all the time, every time this comes up, every, like, few days or so. You've got your cyber bars where it's just free, free resources. Just go through and collect them every day. Um, what else we got? Uh, time travel. This is where you've got all your. Well, this this is the main part where you get a lot of your gear. Um, you can sweep them, and you basically get items for your equipment or whatever. Um, in here, stigmas, or stigmatas, um, I'll probably have to make a separate video on this one that's, deserves its own, own one, they've got special, uh, special bosses, they have their own 
unique ability, so you have to switch out your heroes all the time, so that's kind of why you don't really want to focus too much on just one small set of heroes. You're going to need a lot of heroes to pass all these bosses. You got your expedition, that's kind of like another little galaxy wanted kind of thing, but with a twist, but that's pretty straightforward once you start playing that. Uh, you got your void ring, this is everyone on your server, battle it out. Um, if you're number one, you get an extra 3% attack and 3% HP. If you're the bottom two, you get an extra 2%. It's kind of handy. Um, then you got your hub trials, that's just more battles you can get for coins. Same here, just do them every day. Um, but yeah, focus on your X Wars. Um, early on, don't stress too much about your heroes because you want to get most of them up to immortal anyway. Which, like an immortal hero, you need 16 copies of each. So, like, you would need 16 copies of Toko and then another two copies to get her awakened skill. So, basically, 18 in total. Um, you go through like your epics, legendaries, what was it mystic, mythic, um, and then eventually you get to transcendent and immortal. So it takes a while to get there. Um, if you want some easy champions to start off with, I recommend Centaur. He's really easy to get early. He's got a bunch of CC, so stuns and counterattacks and a lot of armor and damage reduction, so he's pretty good main tank. If you want a good um, second tank, he is a really good thinker. Um, he basically has a big shield for his whole team, and I believe it also heals his teammates as well. Once they got the shield connected to them, gives them a bunch of armor and links to your strongest hero, so this would link, he would link to Toko. And when Toko takes damage, he takes the, a bit of it as well. So that's handy there. Um, who else is good? Early game. You get a bunch of Sally's for free in the early game. So she's really good early. Um, later on, she's kind of average. But early, like you can just max her out. She's got fun, heaps of damage and heaps of um, sustain. So, she's pretty easy to get. I'll probably have to make a separate video of them all later, but, um, what else we got? Union, oh, back to the Union. You want to do your, what's it called, the Mystic Realm Challenge every day. This gets you a bunch of these coins here that you can spend in this area here. This is where you... Basically, the longer you've been playing the game, it really helps. Um, you can spend your your points here, so this will make all your you got rangers, raiders, mages, tanks. So I kind of focus on raiders because of my Toko, so we can make a skill damage a bit stronger here just by spending a few uh, points here. Basically, just a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, so this one you can reset. So if you're running Sally early, you can put all your points in there. Um, if you're running Toko or whoever you're running, you can just put all your points in there and reset them later. Just the main thing you can't reset is the Star Explore or the Star Tech, basically. Um, be careful on those ones before you spend your money. Um, what else we got? Um, here is... Alright, um, what else we got? I'll ch switch servers. So basically when you start the game, you want to pick the server with the highest number. So like right now the newest server is EA Hero 175. Um, basically that you want to go into the newest server. This is an account 146 I made, um, a week ago just to show you what the differences look like when you start the game you get a lot of different events um they're basically giving money away for free um at the beginning yeah if you go to your perks you've got all these like you don't get these kind of perks later on highly recommend if you want to run rex he's a really strong um really strong tank and a lot of damage so he can be your tank and carry. 
it's hundred dollars for that one it's pretty worth it um normally later on if you want to buy a s plus hero they're about hundred dollars for one but this one gets you two and a bunch of extra items um this one here for fifty dollars pretty worth it when you start the game that's like your highest level items that you can buy uh, i think they rank 10 pretty much um yeah grade 10 so that's the highest level item you can buy um they'll give you a huge boost early on but later on they're really easy to get through um what's it called your time travel once you start getting higher levels in time travel you just get get them for free um so early game recommend that these um packs here not too bad as well um obviously early game you want to be getting scrolls um you spend a bit of money you get a monthly card thing that every time you log in you get extra um coins there here is this is not bad you'll get you a few few heroes here um 10 bucks not, not bad price for that um xp pass wouldn't worry too much about that early on you get heaps of that from just passing x wars and your galaxy wanted um but that's pretty handy to get eventually you get stuck and you need more xp to level up your heroes you got your growth gift this is they're just giving away stuff here so take advantage of the first week bonuses that they give you um definitely do the subscription you get 10 free scrolls and all these extra bonuses it's highly worth it even if it, the only thing you spend money on get this that's super handy these um super value funds and luxury funds very worth it you don't have to get them on the first day you can wait till day 14 and then you basically get all of them day 1 to 14 straight up and then you get each day after that um yeah so you've got that you got gifts um nothing these gifts stay the same every every week um you got your vip bonuses so when you start the game you obviously don't have anything um as you rank up in vip you get all these extra points and rewards over here you get extra five percent attack i think once you get to vip 10 you get a free 10% attack and HP, so that's pretty worth it. Um, if you get to f VIP 5, that gets you your Fast Awakening, and um, that's pretty handy instead of manually going through and awakening all your heroes. Yeah, that, that saves you so much time. Um, yeah, as you go through, you get more rewards, so... Basically, up to VIP 5 is what you want, and VIP 10, you get the extra frame which to equip your frame you go in uh, up here click your portrait and then you go frame and then you can see your extra stats here uh what else we got um growth gifts over here uh you got your daily daily packs uh if you get these ones they are your hero shards so once you get 50 of these shards, you get a free S plus hero. So after what you get, you can buy five of these a day. So that's three dollars times that by ten. That's thirty dollars, and you get a free S plus hero. Recommend that if you're spending a few dollars. That also spending that three dollars also gets you one of these rewards each day. Awakening gift. That's just more stuff you can get through. And this only lasts for the first week, so if you're getting a lot of scrolls, you get even more Rexes for free, which is, that's awesome. Uh, they basically give away stuff for free early game. But yeah, Summoner Tower, this is what you want to do. Spend your... Okay, we got him. Not a huge fan of this guy, but, you know, get, take what you get. Um... Oh, nice. We got another thinker. Awesome. Nothing there. Um, you got your loved ones as well. Love summons. 
mostly they're just B. If you're lucky, you get a few A heroes. Um, you got your faction ones, so I think I might focus on. I think technology in this on this account. So get ten of those, and we got centaur. Nice. Let's do that again. Right now we got a. That's excellent, a hero. That's a bit sad, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you can get S plus heroes through here as well. But um, what else? Then you want to go to Lab Awakening and see how quickly you can awaken everyone. It saves you a lot of time. Oh yeah, I'll also show you how to basically un unlevel, unalive a uh, hero that you leveled either by mistake or you don't want. Like, like if you get if you level up an A hero, you can only level them up to about 180. So you really only want to be leveling up S heroes. But it doesn't really matter which S heroes you level up early anyway. You can always go to Recycle Station. Uh, hero Regress, or is it he? Yeah, Regress, this one here. Yeah, so they'll bring it back down to level 1. You get everything you spent. Um, is it that right? Yeah, hold on. Cycle station, what does it say? Reset. There we go. Now you'll see all our other heroes are level 1. That's because we've only got 5, like, high level heroes. So, I will level up this guy. Upgrade, upgrade to level 80. Here we go. Get them back up to level. Cool. So yeah, you basically get all your gold back. Um, and then you can go back to your spirit link and relink if you want to relink that one again. Now she's back up to level 100. Um, but yeah, um, the biggest upgrade early in the game is just by getting duplicates of heroes and leveling them up. So you've got your excellent heroes and then it goes up to epic and then legendary mythic transcendent immortal so yeah you get huge huge boost in power when you awaken the heroes uh it's a lot more than just leveling up even just like 20 levels doesn't give them much of a boost in power so just focus on getting heroes up and yeah like i said early get rockefeller afra is a good healer um, Toko's good damage, or Sally is really good early, just she's super easy to get. Um, anything else I missed? Um, yeah, leave a comment. Um, any specific questions? Um, oh, actually, at the beginning of the game, you get these events. So, the first week you get, this account's one week old. So first week you get, uh, what's it, Toko for free once you do all these quests. And then second week you get Anna. She's also a good mage. Um, not super high damage. She kind of just like ink slowly increases damage and does good CC. Um, what else we got? Also on the first week you get this event to get Laura. She is a really good S plus hero. Um super high damage um if you got the dollars you could buy her she's really good you basically you know, it costs a bit but she is a really good hero um uh, what else you got uh basically a few days into the game you start getting the plane badge as well this one here you do your quests and you get your plane badge tokens and then you can use them in the store. Uh, you can only then you can get like a S plus hero as well, or a bunch of other events. This item over here is really good if you're planning on running Toko. Just all the stats on here just increases her damage by a lot. Um, they don't have these events very often, so yeah, you you kind of want to take advantage when they when they come around. 
apart from that, yeah, you've got those two events. Every week is a new event, but it's they come around eventually. What else we got? Time travel. Ah, oh, yep, and then also a new union. Don't forget to click these things down here and get your free rewards there. Um, that just depends on what union you're in. Try to get become in a group with like a really strong union. You just get more rewards over here just just by being active. Um, apart from that, yeah, just um, level up your heroes, awaken them, and you'll eventually get through. But yeah, I'll have to make a separate video on like in-depth guides on each hero, and there's a lot going on. Oh yeah, don't don't stress too much early, but yeah, you'll get there.